Okay. Okay. Mic check one, two, one, two. I am the Y2K collector and I am back with another end of summer pickups video. I know I did one a few days ago just going over uh, some trades that I was able to make, but I did find even more games that I wanted to trade away. And so I took those in, wasn't able to use all of my trade credit, but did pick up a good number of games. And so I wanna talk about the ones that I'm gonna be adding to my collection and then I'm going to talk about the ones that I probably will sell. So let's go ahead and start off with what I'm keeping in the collection. First off, I've got this copy here of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions on the PS3. Now um, this for some reason is a game that's just gone up in price. It is a good game. I do have it on the 360. but. Um, it does look a little bit better on the PS3 from some of the gameplay footage I've seen. So I'll play both and see which one I want to keep. I may wind up selling my 360 copy, but was glad to get that. Uh, another game that I was able to get my hands on was a copy of the warriors and this one is for the ps2 this is a classic right here classic beat em up on the ps2 if you've never played the warriors check it out i have this as well on the psp so this is another one that i may sell not sure yet but it is a very very clean copy so i was glad to get my hands on that and that does it for the disc based games everything else was cartridge based and i've got some really good stuff there as well okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with some of the super nintendo pickups that i got some of these are pretty basic so i'm gonna go through those pretty quickly here first one that i have that i was able to get was uh final fight uh, on the Super Nintendo. So if you've never played Final Fight, this is this isn't exactly where it all started You actually have the mighty Final Fight on the NES and there may have been one before that But Final Fight on the Super Nintendo is a really cool game Classic beat-em-up super cheap. So if you're looking for something cheap and fun to play on the NES 10 15 bucks will get you a classic beat em up in final fight. So that was one that I went ahead and picked up uh, Another one that I got here was double dragon on the NES uh, So this is just classic double dragon never really liked the way the double dragon games played But I do like the way like the double dragon and battletoads beat em ups play Probably because those play more like the battletoads games than the double dragon games, but I'm um, still fun Still one that I was glad uh, I was able to add to the collection. Uh, then, this is a, a really obscure Super Nintendo game. I don't think I've ever seen this or even heard of this prior to going to the game store. But this is Combat Tribes, or the Combat the the Combat Tribes, or the Combat Tribes. Um, but this is a is a kind of a unique beat em up. This is a very strange beat em up. I had never seen a beat em up like this before in the Super Nintendo. Um, it's like, it's really, it's strange. Like you fight really in one area and after you beat up all the guys in that one area, the next area is immediately to the boss and you can't jump in this game, which is strange. Um, still, a you know, cool to find a beat em up that I had never seen before on the Super Nintendo, but this was one that I did grab and add to the collection. May keep it, may sell it, not sure. And then this was a nostalgia grab just because I grew up watching this game and that is Act Razor on the NESR on the Super Nintendo. If you've never played Act Razor, check it out. It's kind of a cross between like a act. It's not an act. Sorry. It's a cross between like a, uh, a hack and slash action platformer um, and like a like Sim City. Like you kind of have to build a city and like you're basically like a god. So you have to send like rain down to the city and build the city and vanquish the demons from the city. It's like really unique. Um, I thought that they were gonna be remaking this for like the PS4, or the PS5 Act Razor. Not sure where they're at with that, but this is a really dope game. Check it out, Act Razor. It's a classic. All right, so that does it for the Super Nintendo and for the PS2 and PS3 pickups. Now uh, I'm gonna finish it off with some Sega gems. So, you know, I love Sega. I'm a big fan of Sega, grew up on Sega. And so whenever I go to a local game store, I'm always looking to see what I can find. And they had this game, very unique, Wolf Child. 
wolf child on the sega genesis now this plays like a cross between contra and altered beast i know it sounds funny because in altered beast you do transform but in this game you do transform as well once you transform you get like a projectile and it's a cool like run and gun kind of like action game on the sega pretty decent music this is a cool one wolf child it's not common but if you ever hear of it pick it up wolf child on the sega genesis i thought that was cool um next one was a loose cart copy of contra hard corpse how can you go wrong there grew up playing this had this when i was a kid saw it in the store there at loose hopefully i can find a case and a manual and complete this bad boy same thing with wolf child hopefully i can complete both of those and add them to the collection all right and now we're going to get into some complete and box stuff it's what i like um so first up is another sega genesis now i don't have any rpgs on the sega genesis but this was one that i saw in the store asked to see it look at the looked at the back watch some gameplay footage and this is kind of like a almost like a zelda like kind of like an action rpg with that isometric um viewpoint and that is land stalker on the sega genesis this is an extremely clean copy of land stalker on the sega genesis i had heard about this game um wasn't something that i would go out and look for but i saw it at the game store i had the trade credit needed to burn it and um, i thought that this would be a really cool add to the collection now what's cool about this copy um not only is it complete right the manual there is almost like in pristine condition the cartridge is great but this is what's really cool that i thought was really sick about this game um in the box was a receipt you can't see it here but this receipt is from the toy works store and this game was purchased back on february 21st in 1995 so someone had a really fun afternoon that day or not because <laughs> this game looks like it was barely played so maybe not but um i just think it's really cool when you pick up old retro games and you find like time capsules like that like receipts and just little stickers and notes from 20 30 years ago i love it and land stalker this was a cool one to grab so glad i picked that up all right and then last but not least um if you follow the channel you know what i'm into the most beat em ups shoot em ups and i had to end the day off with an amazing shoot em up this is one that i did not have in the collection and i've got quite a few but that is an original copy of soul dees on the sega genesis yes soul dees love me a good shooter this is a pretty decent shooter on the sega genesis not the best i've played it some music is okay um gameplay is okay graphics are pretty good um but this is kind of a rare one you don't see often and i saw it there in the store this one too was also complete in box um manual this now this one lo definitely looks like it was played manual not as clean as the land stalkers but it is complete really cool to see uh and get some complete in box sega genesis games and that really does it as far as um pickups um from the game store uh like i said i'm always stoked when i can go in find some really cool stuff see games that i've never seen before add things to the collection and if not at least find things that i can take and flip and maybe sell or trade uh to get something else that i actually want all right so last thing we'll touch on before i get out of here is um there is a game that i was interested in didn't realize limited run was um going to be releasing it before i got my copy um but i got a pal version of sword of the vagrant this gives me um like uh what's the, what's that one uh something in labyrinth um odin sphere right so this game gives me odin sphere vibes gives me dragon's crown vibes um uh you know uh, a miramasa demon blade uh gives me those types of vibes very cool hack and slashed uh hack and slash style game with hand-drawn art really into that and so i picked this up i am going to be trying this out this weekend and testing it out and then maybe i'll sell it when my limited run copy comes but was really stoked to get a copy of sword of the vagrant 
and that does it for this week i know there's going to be another huge um pickup i know i'm going to have something big in the future here um just because i have a ton of trade trade credit at a really good game store that gets a ton of retro stuff so i'm sure i'll be stopping by there again to pick up something i'm going to wait until they get something really good um and then i'll get in there for that but that's all i've got for this weekend folks hopefully you're enjoying your weekend hopefully you had a great summer hopefully you got to go to some game conventions i did not get to go to any game conventions but i'm perfectly fine with that because i've scored some amazing deals this summer but that's it for me i am the y2k collector you take it easy